I started in the city of Sparks in December of 1991 um, as a 21-year-old kid, and now I'm able to retire um, relatively young, from what most people are telling me, uh, from this profession and uh, move on to something different. When I decided I didn't want to go into the grocery business and I wanted to become a police officer, they put me into the produce department um, and I worked for a guy named Steve Kiefer who was the produce manager at the time. He was a reserve officer for the Sparks Police and then he was hired on full time and eventually I got hired by the Sparks Police and over the course of the years I was either a co-worker of his or he was a boss of mine in various capacities, sergeant to officer, lieutenant to sergeant, all the way up until he was the chief of police and I worked directly for him as the deputy chief um, at the end of his career. It's, it's come with a sense of uh, higher duty, even though that um, I truly believe that the job of police officer all the way up to the chief is a doable profession. Uh, and we need to have high regard in that officers have to have a high regard for their position in society. When you uh, become the chief, it just, it hit home to me that I am now responsible for the overall quality of service and delivery of service to the citizens of Sparks. Um, to uphold really the legacy that those before me had set the standard, whether it was Chief Kiefer, Chief Asher, Chief Dotson, or um, others that, that influenced my career, um, you know, the various sergeants and lieutenants, um, and, and those things that shaped who we are as an organization. And it's now um, that level of duty and uh, accountability that was placed in me to make sure that we hold up that standard. And then we take that standard and prepare the next generation to uphold that standard of what we always have stood for as the Sparks Police. Um, that didn't come lightly, but uh, it's been thoroughly enjoy enjoyable, frustrating at times, as any job has frustrations, but uh, being in that role has, has been thoroughly enjoyable um, and making sure that we uh, represent our city and our, our, our citizens to the best we can in law enforcement. When I first started, we had a radio system with two channels. We could not communicate with the city of Reno. Um, you had to be patched or dispatched would have to call them to, to, to relay information. Um, and now we have a fully integrated uh, computer-aided dispatch system, records management system, uh, fully integrated radio system as a region. So the technology, you know, we joke around that the original iPad was just this. You wrote calls for service or notes on your hand and you cleared your screen by washing your hands for the rest of your shift. Uh, and, and we've gone from, from that level of technology of a notepad and a, and a two-channel radio system all the way up to now with these mobile data computers in the cars and the, and the technology and, and the use of cell phones and, and things like tasers and, and, and axon um, services where we do all of our evidence collection now through, through a phone. Our, our photographic evidence collection is now through a phone versus when I started we had 35 millimeter or Polaroids. So the technology side has just been astronomically, exponentially just crazy as far as that. And then the, on the operational side, just the, 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 the level of, and types of calls for service that our officers answer today um, compared to when I started are, are completely different. Um, Unfortunately, uh, the, the mental health crisis that's going across our country right now, um, it, that falls on the laps of law enforcement. And society has taken a lot of their societal problems, the social problems, and when they don't know what to do with it, they thrust those onto law enforcement. And so um, law enforcement, unfortunately, sometimes becomes the spearhead of these social problems. And that puts us in very vicarious positions because it has a mixed role of law enforcement versus dealing with social problems. Um, most of the people that have mental health problems don't deserve or need to be in the criminal justice system. They need to be in the mental health or uh, behavior health system to get them the help. So, so things like um, uh, domestic violence, uh, alcoholism, uh, mental health, all those things have now been thrust on on these officers that historically weren't in the law enforcement realm of duties and responsibilities even going back um, 15, 20 years, let alone the almost 28 years that I've been here. I think it's just that is is in a day in a changing of, of generations and we have different generations of employees now and, and how we maintain 
that nobility of policing and the level of ethics and morality and the demands of what society need and to make sure that we have set that standard moving into the future is one of the biggest things. Um, when, when I first came in, we were able to change our mission and value statements um, during that time of transfer between Chief Kiefer and I and really mold those into what we stand for as an organization and just to, to leave that impact uh, moving forward and, and truly leaving the supervisory core that we have in place now that's going to lead that the next generation of law enforcement is tremendously exciting for me. When you, when you get to my level and, and you get to experience and working with fire department, community services, the financial services, the accounting, human resources, everybody across the board. Um, this city is full of a bunch of people who are truly dedicated to making government work and look out for the best interests of the citizens of Sparks. And this is, has always been and, and will continue to be just a, a touch knob city and a place to work um, with a lot of caring people. And that's, that's the important part. Uh, the, the future is truly up in the air. Um, I have no set plans, but because of where I'm at and some other goals that we have, I want to do something. Um, uh, my wife still works, so um, we're going to try to balance time off and, and work and, and looking at different things, but um, I don't know if it's gonna be in a law enforcement or criminal justice related field, or if it's gonna be completely something different out of the box, um, but uh, the options are out there and they're mine to take and I don't know where it's going to take me but I know that uh, God has a path for me and when that path is shown to me I'll jump on it and take it to its fullest just like I took this one um, 27 and a half years ago. Overall um, just take things day by day and really just embrace the entirety of, of what it is. Um, take a measured approach to everything. Um, uh, initial stories hardly ever turn out to be the way the true story is. Uh, so take a measured approach, enjoy every moment of it, and then just truly invest in, and prepare that next generation of officers um, to leave that legacy of what we stand for as an organization.